Uh, in this program, we want to remove okay stop words okay for a given series of words okay passage from a text file. So uh, here we will start with the import NLTK. We have the first okay package or library NLTK. We need to import, otherwise the program will not run. So maybe it is missing in your lab manual. That's okay. From okay, uh, so this is another okay, package nltk.corpus corpus. Okay, nltk dot corpus. So from this library, we are importing stop words. Okay, this uh, file, or you can say this okay library function. Even we can say it as a uh, object. That's all. Because in Python, you can say everything is object. So every variable even is an object. So let's see what happens afterward. So because it is not available in our Python program, we have to download this library, NLTK. So NLTK dot download stop word this library okay we downloaded this stop words library module okay now we are going for the first file and the file one the first file okay file one dot txt and this file one dot txt is opened by open function okay open function open and the uh, the path of the library this one is important so put the exact path of the library okay, uh, so, okay. so okay. and this is a, in the read mode so we have to read from the file one and write to the second file file number two so we are opening the first file okay file one and this is the handle, file handle, F1. So F1, it is a variable actually. So variable F1 is opening the file, F1, with the read mode. And writing, okay, on the file 2, write mode, writing on the file 2 with the open mode using F2. So F1 is equal to open, file 1, F2 is open, file 2. So these two files are open and the first the first one, file 1, is in the read mode. So from the file 1, the program will read all the text and then it will copy, okay, write in file 2. The simple meaning is this one. So before writing, it will check whether uh, the stop words are there or not. If the stop words are there, then it will remove them and then write in file two. So stop words are exactly the punctuations. For example, for stop, comma, all these. Okay. So stop word. Okay. Uh, we are now writing a variable. Okay. Here stop variable which is equal to stop words dot words, this one. And uh, let's say the English is the word, okay? Stop words dot words, English. Okay. Uh, also, okay, so if the English is there, okay, it will stop. Okay, for line in F1. So every time the file will be open, file one, and it will go through line by line. It will go to the line number one first, okay, read all the content of the line one, then it will go to the line two, then three, and so on. So that's why we are writing a for loop line in F1. So line one, two, three, and so on, okay. So it will go for line in F1, the file then okay we will write w equal to line dot split so w is a function is a variable actually uh, which will take the line this line 
and access the method split. So whatever is in the line one of file one, it will break in small parts every word, word by word. Okay? Split with the uh, space, single space. That's okay. So line dot split with the space. So every line is divided in uh, different parts, and it, every time, okay, W is such as line dot split with a space. So for okay, after this, this this is another nested for inside the for loop. There's another for. It will okay go for word every time word. So whatever has been splitted, so it has split every line in this one. Okay, it has split every line with the single space. After that, going for the word. Okay, so it will okay put the words okay for words in w this one if word not in a stop okay, not in this stop this one then it, the program will do these two lines like f2 dot write words it will write exactly the word which is inside okay, here in w here in this one the first file in the first file, whatever is there, it will be written in the second file. Okay. Uh, F2 dot write and there is a space. So every time, every word is written in the file 2 and then it will be make, it will be, okay, uh, spaced out with single space, this one. And finally, we will close okay, uh, both files because of security reasons, okay. Closing F1 file, closing F2 file, okay, like this one. So let's run this program so that you can sense better. 